your hips down and your chest plate up. Second set. And if you've come this far and you're on the precipice of change, don't go back where you came from. Last eight, one. Go somewhere new. Grow somewhere new. Stand up. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Esoteric Atlanta. Of course, my name is Bryce, and I am joined here with my cohort, Catherine Edwards. <laughs> Um, we, I, I actually have to say, cause we literally just filmed a couple of days ago with Mr. Fox for the Wanderers episode. And so, and I'm just loving all the comments. I know Mr. Fox has been reading the comments. Um, if you guys missed that episode, I'll put it down in the description box below because we definitely will be doing a follow up to, uh, answer some of your questions because it is a very important topic. And I'm so happy that so many people felt such liberation and peace after hearing that information. But today we are going to be talking about entitlement, but before we get to that guy, Guys, just a quick announcement coming from both Catherine and myself and, and our friend Jay. Um, as you guys know, Jay was on my channel uh, last week. Again, I will put that video down in the description box below. And he is going to be running kind of like a workshop course with both Catherine and me helping people learn how to market. And so this is going to be a Zoom uh, course, not recorded. This is all private. Um, Catherine and I will both be there with all of our people. Um, and so if you are interested in joining that workshop on how to market your business, how to market yourself, please text Jay down in the description box below. That number is 321-214-8047, I believe, 216. Anyway, it's in the, it's it's in the description below box below. Videos. It's always below all our videos, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot it for a second because I've had it memorized. If you are texting from the UK or Australia or any other country outside of the United States, please make sure to put plus one as the country code and just text Jay that you're interested in joining this workshop. We will be setting a date soon. Uh, we just have to take uh, who, who all wants to join, get your contact information, all of that stuff. Is there anything you want to add on that, Catherine, before you move into the subject? There is actually, because I think this is, well, one, as we go through today, you're going to really see how this fits in. But when you message Jay, please tell them what country you're in and make sure all your contact information in and make sure you let us know whether you're already in Bryce or, or my ASEA team. And the reason we're so passionate about doing this, and I, this is going to be powerful because you're going to get very different personalities, all of which who resonate with each other but do things slightly differently, giving you a lot of guidance on things that you can apply to any areas of your life that are important to you. Because as you're going to see from our talk today, I everything that we do, and I think I'm speaking for both of us here, we're all about taking your power back, taking your sovereignty back, not waiting for someone else to give something to you about how much when you get into that vibration of giving and receiving, how much good you can do in the world. I mean, I think most of the people of our listeners, and I have know from correspondence I get, Bryson, from what you've had, that a lot of people do a lot of work for charities, for people in need. But if we don't have the resources, whether it's the love in our hearts, whether it's the energy, the motivation, the money, the time, it's really difficult to help others and create the world that we all want to see. So creating that for yourself, as we say always, is where all this starts. You know, you can't give from an empty cup. So what we're doing is it's like there's no shame in filling your own cup up because look at the good we can all do from the world when we do. So we're we will be announcing the dates once we've seen where in the country, where in the world people are joining from, because obviously we're going to try and make the time scale fit for as many people that want to join as possible. Um, so please, please do reach out because these, these are the type of things we're trying it out. There's so much good content we're going to be sharing and it's all going to be for your benefit. And, um, you know, one thing I've really learned over the last few years, well, over my life, but I've applied it more of the last few years, is when those synchronicities and those opportunities present themselves and they're aligned with your vibration, if they are aligned, then jump and take it. Yeah. And we will, and I was telling you, Catherine, off camera, like for anybody, you guys know Robin was on my channel. She gave a great story, 62 years old and a bodybuilder. And if anybody wants to utilize my platform, who's trying to, to, to market themselves, I 
open invitation for you to come on, tell your story. Absolutely. You know, it is. And that's one thing I love about the ASEA business is that it is everybody. It's it's the Ram Dass quote. We're all just walking each other home. Everybody is there to help everybody. And so um, and so I will be more than happy to do that. I'll put Robin's video down in the description box below. Yes, brilliant. Um, so yeah, so speaking and well, before we get on to our subject, don't forget we're giving we're going to be res um, so I was away last week traveling, I'm going to be sharing some of that experience today because there was a lot of lessons learned. But we've done the draws for the winners from the video that was on my channel two weeks ago. So as everyone knows, with these coffee chats, we're alternating Bryce's channel this week, my channel next last week. So we've picked the winners for last week and we'll be announcing how you can win for next week at the end of the show. So stay tuned. Yes, yeah, so, so excited. I, I well, This is my favorite thing to do is pulling these names and picking these winners. And, you know, it's, it's a way for us to pay it forward. But this exactly. actually... This whole thing about taking your power back, you know, and we were kind of talking about this offline about this idea of entitlement. And it when you live in a space of feeling entitled to things, you in essence aren't giving your power away in a lot of ways. And I know Catherine, you know, you and I, and I'm not trying to like toot our horns or anything, but this is just fact. You and I are probably two of the very small percentage of people who don't put any of our um, content behind a paywall. Yeah. All of our content is free. Uh, and I've never put anything behind a paywall at all. And so with that being said, I know a lot of our viewers listening understand this. So I'm probably preaching to the choir, you know, to run these YouTube channels, Catherine, I mean, I work about 16 hours a day. I can't yeah. see forever to respond to people's text messages sometimes because I have to put my phone on silent so I can focus on work, you know, to do the research, to do the filming, to do the editing. If I do an hour deep dive video, to edit that video, 10 minutes is one hour of editing. So it's yeah. an hour video is a six hour editing process for me. And so, and that's not including all the, all the interviews I do. That's not including guests going on other people's channels, all that kind of stuff. So this is literally a full-time job. Now, with that being said, like most, like everybody watching, that does, I still have bills to pay. I still mm -hmm. have to pay the rent, pay the electricity, pay for food, pay for my dog's food. And so I, you know, in order for, for me to be able to put free content out for the viewers, Things like sponsorships are how I'm able to do that, right? Because the ASEA for me has been such a blessing. Now, yeah. I know that YouTube, we talked about this. To, we, we were trying to take power away from the platform. But what's been happening is YouTube does go in and add commercials, even if you ask not for for them not to put them on they will put them on and take the revenue themselves we can't so, yes yeah, so i just going to button then say so Bryce and I don't monetize our YouTube videos at all so we don't get the money from that so if you're seeing vid ads in the videos we don't put those in youtube do and we don't get the money for that and there's a very conscious reason why we decided to do that yeah so the only thing that's supporting me at the moment is the asia now mm -hmm. i had a comment i'm just going to say i had a comment on my video a couple of days ago where someone said i love you bryce but i'm over the asia talk and that really it, it, that hurt so you ex the entitlement there is that you expect me to put out free content and not have any way of supporting myself. There's no way I could go and get another job and do the amount of research and the amount of work. The research is the easy part. It's the, it's mm -hmm. the production that's actually the hard part. And so you expect that. So am I your slave? Am I enslaved to you? Is that the entitlement that... You, you can't be patient enough to sit through like a 30 second commercial at the beginning or a couple minutes of a promotion in order for me to be able, for me, I'm super grateful to ASEA because I love, I love this job. I love doing research. I love creating, but it's a lot of work. And so I'm grateful that ASEA has given me that flexibility to be able to pay my bills pay for everything that needs to, I mean, half the time I don't, I can't even go to the grocery store. It has to be delivered because I'm working, you know? And so I just kind of wanted to bring that up because that wasn't cool. If you do love me, as you say you do, then you would be happy that there's a way 
for us to support ourselves so that we can continue to bring you free content. And I will be honest, I have gotten other um, sponsorship offers in the past, in these past three years. Yeah, three years. And I've always turned them down because there was something about the company that didn't align with me. Yeah, sure. and I yeah, I think that's really well said because I I've just been away on a trip with Asia, which was very hard earned. You know, I I've been sharing health solutions for twenty years before I had a YouTube channel. It's my love, it's my passion because I'm very much I've seen the power of taking back control of your health and your life, and I just want to bring to attention some of the laws of the universe. Now, let's talk about the 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 law of cause and effect and i've made some notes here so when you you've got that entitled energy and i uh, please note that none of this is said with judgment because we've all been there we've all learned this is what we all talk about with the inner work when we're talking about this it's not a judgment of when someone's going through a difficult time and they're in that vibration but that's what good friends do is they help people to get out of that vibration so if we look at say the law of cause and effect which is one of the universal laws entitlement goes against uh, the, the this whole thing of cause and effect because if you're expecting rewards or privileges or special treatment without putting effort in or contributing positively yourself you upset that whole balance and you won't get that um energy coming back to you so everything in life is an energy exchange of some form or the other if you're a cleaner you are giving the people that you're cleaning back the most amazing valuable gift of time yeah. because you're doing their cleaning for them and therefore they can choose to spend their time on something else it doesn't matter whatever job someone's in everything is in an energy exchange and i think we're in a time now where we're seeing where this judgment is getting all of us so entitlement is a real form of judgment and it comes from a place of pain and i think we've all been there and we probably all will be again you know we all go through things in life that put us in and out of energetic balance but what what i think so useful for all of us is to recognize that when we're feeling that that's something we're feeling as wing dyer said oh, it, you know i covered this a bit on my channel update that i did a few days ago you know, as Wayne like Dyer says, if you squeeze an orange, only orange juice can come out. If you're feeling resentment or anger or jealousy or frustration, understanding that's not to do with the person that you're watching about and it's to do with something unresolved in our own lives, in your own life, is the, the first port of healing. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that that is, it's like striking someone out. Yeah, because... 100% it's projection and when you do live in that place of entitlement like where we're seeing that with this idea of like the med beds people feel entitled to just have their health fixed overnight which is not the path of spirituality because as I've said many times before I think people are very confused with spirituality spirituality you know being able to like be a medium or a psychic that's great you're communicating with others other it's just a form of communication but true spirituality is working on your own spirit, is recognizing your own soul, right? And so when you're asking, you're, the body is your template, it's your Shakti. And so when you're not, when you feel entitled to just have things fixed overnight, you're missing the point of being human. And, you know, yeah, doing exercises six days a week, it's, it's a lot of effort. It's a hard work, but there's a benefit and payoff. For example, tomorrow morning, I am I'm traveling tomorrow morning. Now, I have had lower back issues my whole life, and I've said this before. I have multiple herniated discs. Rarely do I feel back pain, though. Rarely, because I work really hard at keeping my body strong. And so because I'm traveling tomorrow, I know for me that I'm going to have to get up super early in the morning to do some a practice in order to stabilize my body to take the intensity of travel. That's a choice that I am making because I know that that is an obstacle I struggle with. And so in order, I hold the power. I hold the power of whether my body is going to be in pain when I get to my destination or not in pain. And that's a choice that I have to make. Two, two paths diverge in a forest and I took the one last traveled by. I'm making that decision because I've learned my lessons. There are times when I knew that I needed to practice before travel and I didn't. 
I slept in and then I paid for it later, but that was my lesson to learn. That was my karma to learn. And so to think that there, that, that, that drives me crazy too, Catherine. I mean, I have people say to me a lot, Oh, Bryce, it's easy for you to say this yeah. because you're thin or you're this or why, why the hell do you think I'm fit? I've been doing hard work for 17 years. I bust my ass six days a week over an hour on my yoga mat. It's not just get that. It's like we're having, you know, in my generation, I'm sure your generation and many people watching, we learned the value of hard work. You yeah. know, if I wanted, when I was a little kid, if I, if like, you know, going to the record store, or the CD store, if I wanted Atlantis Morissette's Jagged Little Pill album, because I heard the songs on the radio, yeah. I, which was like 20 bucks, right? 16, $15, something like that. I would have to do chores around the house to earn the money to then go to the record store and buy that CD if it wasn't my birthday or Christmas, right? So we, we grew up learning that you have to earn things. If you wanna make a good grade on a test, you have to study. And, and the thing is, it's like, it's never about the destination, but it's, and I know that's cheesy to say, it's about the journey. There's so much wisdom that comes through that friction of working hard towards something. Does that make sense? So, so, so well, it does. It just makes so much sense. And, and you know, the, the people that I spent the last sort of four or five days with are, are probably some of the most inspiring people I've ever met in my life. Everyone's story is different. And everyone watching this will be in a different phase of their life, facing different challenges. And yes, it's wonderful to have those friends that you can offload at. We're not talking about suppression emotions at all. But if we look at the law of attraction, and when I'm looking to some side, it's because I did make some notes for this, because it's something I'm so passionate about. But the law of attraction states that what we focus on is the energy that we admit. So if you're looking from entitlement or judgment, it's a mindset of lack or superior superiority which will then create negative energy and repel what you want against you. And trust us, the reason I know so much about the universal laws is because of all the mistakes I've made, <laughs> where I've attracted things into my life that haven't served me, but it's always, always, always on hindsight been something that I reckon recognize, recognize that from where I was putting my attention. So, you know, now at the moment, I am going back to my real love, which is sort of saying, look, how selfish would it be me if throughout the last 30 years of my work, my studying, my uh, mistakes, that I'd learn all these wonderful things that I knew could help people and I didn't share them? Just like I'm watching loads of gardening videos at the moment because we're having our food forest. If anyone saw my interview on the food forest, we're having our garden turned into a food forest because I'm passionate about being much more self-sufficient, not for not just for ourselves and our animals, but also for the wildlife as well. So I'm watching loads of other stuff about that. And it's so uplifting and so empowering because that's an area that I've got loads to learn on. So when we look at this and we sort of say, we recognize and sort of say, yeah, I'm feeling jealousy. Yeah, I'm feeling, I'm laughing because I especially put this lipstick on for you, Bryce, because I've had quite a lot of comments recently that I only put my, do my hair and makeup when I'm interviewing a certain male person, <laughs> which is really insulting because actually I do my hair and makeup every show. So I'm a bit gutted. No one notices that. <laughs> but this is beautiful. This is you, darling, this lovely website. But it makes me laugh because no, Bryce and I have talked about like off screen, I don't wear makeup if you bump into me in the streets. And the only reason, yes, you could say I could come on screen and makeup, but my lighting in my office is really bad for filming in. So if it gives me confidence to slap some lipstick on and do my hair, then so be it. That's about me and where I'm at. And, you know, it does make me laugh when people say that because I'm like, we well, obviously haven't watched all my other videos and the effort I make for you, Bryce. <laughs> Well, it's so funny because I don't wear makeup off, off screen either. And I had to learn. I mean, most of my adult life has been spent in sweaty yoga shalas. So I'm not going to put makeup on anywhere else. It would just run down my face. And I had to learn because when you're on camera, there are things and mistakes you make. And you have to learn how to make your face look like a face because if you don't have makeup on it looks a little bit distorted on camera. You haven't got like you and I have got very basic equipment. Yeah. 
And I'm noticing today as I'm moving in and out, the light's changing because I've got loads of light coming on for different directions. So, you know, we are doing this. I've got, I'm in my little office in the garden. Bryce is in her bedroom. I've got a very basic camera. If I had better cameras and things, it'd be different, but I don't. And that's not something I need to invest in for the type of work that I'm doing. But it just makes me laugh. I'm not insulted by it at all, but it's an example of where your consciousness is. Because actually those people that say that, if they actually looked at their other videos, you'll see sometimes I curl my hair because I fancy being a bit curly. Sometimes it's straight, sometimes it's pulled back because I haven't done anything with it. And I've been in between, I'm rushing out like backwards and forwards, doing the animals and everything. But the lesson in this, it's not a judgment, it's not a preach. It's like when you look, I would encourage anyone to look at the laws of the universe. You can look them up anywhere. They're so powerful and they're so simple, but there's such profound messages that where our vibration is and what we're putting it out. So when you're judging someone else, you are always judging yourself, period. Absolutely. Inside, there's a hurt. There's an unresolved hurt that we've all got. I have plenty. That you know, um, is coming out that that other person is triggering for you, which is why yeah. I spend so much time with guinea pigs because they don't trigger anything neg negative. <laughs> well, I speaking, I don't know if you guys remember, like a few months back, I admitted that I thought I found this great eyeliner and it turned out I had been putting lip liner on my... <laughs> <laughs> that's how little I know about, but yeah, it's, it is judgment. That is such, and I think, and I think that's true. I think, you know, we have this perception in our mind's eye of other people's lives and rarely is that perception reality. And I think people do see people on screen and they have this idea of what this person's life is like. And nine times out of 10, that person's life is nothing like the people, the person I've done it before with people. I think, oh, that their life must be so great. No, it's, it's typically, it's everybody's a human being. We're all here struggling. We're all here learning. It's not really struggling. It's obstacles. And as Marnie Alton says, it's not an obstacle. It's a puzzle that you now yeah. have to get the opportunity to solve. And you're right, Catherine. And I, and I see, you know, for me, I'm so grateful for the ASEA and the success that ASEA has afforded me in order to be able to continue doing what I love to do. And a few months back, I had kind of said to God, I need help. If I'm going to continue, God, if you want me to continue on YouTube, and I started journaling about it, and the next thing I know, I got, I got ASEA. You know, I will admit to you guys, I, you know, the laptop I'm on right now is from 2016. It's a, my boyfriend keeps saying that he thinks some, some uh, alien made this laptop for me because it hasn't really died yet. But there was a point where it, it started to get slow. And I said to God, I was like, I can't afford a new computer right now. If you want me to keep doing this, then provide me with a way and we got a new Mac, a uh, big Mac from uh, one of my, my boyfriend's clients that was just giving it away. And so if you're open to receiving things, they will come. And, um, and I want, and, and I think too, the thing about it, it, and I say this all the time, Catherine, I hope I'm, what make, what upsets me the most about humanity and this I, idea of entitlement is that I feel like people who are in this state of entitlement don't realize how powerful they actually are. They are yeah. giving their power away, thinking they deserve something, but they don't realize that they themselves have the ability. There's abundance everywhere available to you. Everything is available to you. It's whether or not you're willing to receive it. Yeah. And I'm you are bad. powerful. You can make, you can join a SIA, you can join another business, and you, if you are open to receiving that, then the doors will start to open. You know, you can... So I've heard about this and we've seen them personally on multiple different things. And trust me, we're not just talking about a seer, we're just really grateful. But one of the things the founder talked about when we were on this convention was about who are you becoming? What is your journey to be a better person, to contribute more? Because if you're in a state where you're giving and receiving has to be in balance it can be out of balance both ways there's a lot of empaths that give a lot more than they receive and there's a lot of people that receive a lot more than they give and if or, the body is always going looking for homeostasis nature is always looking for homeostasis and balance 
Um, and this, if we just keep looking at that sort of energetically to where is my life in balance and, and what do, who do I want to become as a person? What do I want to be able to contribute to the world is really, really powerful. And, you know, I am so grateful that I've said yes to opportunities because the amount of money I've been able to donate to causes, to loved ones, to buy them products, to help people out in need, um, which, I couldn't do if I'm in a place of lack. I can't do. I'm so grateful for, I've seen a lot of bashing of people that have got their own shops and are on people's shows selling products, but I've had my own health shop. I know how much blood, sweat and tears goes into sourcing good quality products, making sure they're produced properly, making sure they're stored properly, making sure they're shipped properly. All these things, it's a lot of love and hard work and energy and money that goes into this. So I think anytime we're looking to bring someone else down in whatever area, I mean, at the moment, I think that everyone who watches our channels, there's going to be in all aspects of your life, not just talking about on camera. I mean, let's face it, YouTube, it's a tiny bit of all our lives, you know, but in your life, you're going to start seeing things being disclosed to you that you're shocked about. We've we've all gone through. There's going to be loads of things we we know about the children which is why a lot of us started talking about this to stop the atrocities to about the children the animals what we do to each other the way we behave um those little choices that we make on a daily basis that are keeping the world in this state of unbalance and allowing these great corporate conglomerates to abuse their staff and do god knows what with their dark money we all know this. We all know how easily people that start with good intentions can be turned and taken over. And all I would say is there's going to be a lot of disclosure. Now, there's not one of us, not and Bryce and I amongst us, we, we put our hands out. We've been fooled by things. I will be fooled again because my natural nature is quite trusting and I want to see the best in people and things. Um, sometimes I don't. <laughs> Because, you know, sometimes I need to see that a little quicker. So none of this is like if someone's been if you've been fooled by someone, if you've been in an abusive situation, we've talked about it so many times. Do not blame yourself ever. Just think, oh, I've seen that lesson now. Once that light bulb goes on, it's the best thing that you can do because you can get yourself out of that situation, learn from it and move on. Yeah. And we are at a season with Saturn. What Saturn's in retrograde until November, so a lot of exposure. This is the as we were. This is the season of karma. A lot yeah. of exposure, and so yeah, it is. It is quite gut wrenching when you realize you've been duped, right? Yeah. That realization is where your power lies. And I will say, as you were saying this, Catherine, some of my favorite channels to watch on my off time, like when I'm cleaning or out with the dog or doing the laundry are the are listen to these channels on my headphones are the uh, Scientology channels and I, yeah. I I do have I have contact with Mark Headley hopefully he'll be coming on the channel soon but I love those guys because they laugh at themselves yeah they have, they have such great senses of humor and they went through horrific like we're talking about the ex the extreme of cult manipulation and being duped like the extreme and now they're able to put their channels up to try to help people. And I was watching one of the episodes, I can't, maybe it was Amy Scobie and Claire Headley, where they had mentioned like how many people watch their channels that were never Scientologists that are getting benefit and information compared exactly. to experiences with just a person in their life, the tactics, you know, the healing that it's provided. And so don't ever, when you realize, I mean, it was Mark Twain's quote, it's, it's easier to fool someone than convince them they've been fooled. But once you realize you've been fooled, that's where your power lies. And so even though it's gut wrenching when things are exposed and come out, you know, yeah, Catherine, when you when you decide to open up a YouTube channel, no one hands you a manual and says this is the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Not, no. not <laughs> and particularly because, you know, everyone's been through such shifts of so look at the shocks that everyone in their own personal relationships with family, with friendship groups, look at employers that have let so many people down, look at health systems that have let so many people down, politicians, you name it. But if we're going to carry that resentment with us, the only person it helps is ourselves. Because if we're going to carry hate, judgment, resentment with us, and I, again, I'm going to keep saying it, I'm not pretending I'm there. 
I'm not pretending I don't. I've got a little swear box on my desk because <laughs> sometimes I like to pretend I've got Tourette's. I was having such a laugh with one of my new friends on this um, a seer trip. I met, do you know why I resonated so much with this? Because everyone was from the heart and the stories there, everyone there had got off their backside, overcome serious health obstacles, serious financial obstacles, had left abusive partners, and they'd taken their power back and done it their way by helping others. But one of the lovely ladies on there, I'm going to give a shout out to Nikki and Rosalie. We had this real joke on the last night where we we're saying it, our favorite thing, if someone's lined us up, is just to sit there and pretend. I said, I'll just pretend I've got Tourette's. And then I'll be in the middle of a conversation and then I'll go, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. And then you have to say, sorry, my Tourette's. And there's nothing they can say about it now. They're not allowed to. So you can always use that if you want to get rid of your anger, frustration. And to anyone with Tourette's, Good job. Not taking the piss out of you. Good job. It's very useful at times. Um, but in all seriousness, you know, introduce a bit of humor into your life. Recognize what's yours that you're carrying. And when you go into life looking to lift each other up, Bryce, you and I, we've taken a lot of stick over the last two things. And I'm not in victim mode about that at all. I completely accept that anything for that, there's a reason I've attracted that. But our friendship has stood firm through it. And we are we do have different ways of dealing with things. And we do think things, but we don't expect to. We're not each other's mothers. We don't tell each other what to do and how to behave. We support yeah. each other and allow each other to be ourselves. Absolutely. And that's and that's you know, that's a good thing you bring up, Catherine, too. If if you're in a place that I mean, this is just such a heavy and but important topic. When you're in that place of you feel entitled or you feel anger, that's that's you feeling lack. And so many people f get, get to that point because they're with people in their lives and they feel like they have to walk on eggshells around. Yeah, you know, there's a different opinion or a different way that they're they're going to drop them as a friend. And and that's not you know, if you have good people around you, that's you won't feel that way. You'll feel supported and loved regardless of what's going on in your life. And so I would say, you know, and I, I've said this before, you know, with this whole idea of entitlement, like someone's coming to save you, I want to reiterate how limiting that is. Because yeah. if you allow someone to take care of you, if you allow someone to be observant to you, that entitlement, then you are, you, then you are, you put in, in a sense become enslaved. And yeah. I will say, because we talk about the law of one, that is one of the biggest things about the differences between the negative and the positive polarities. The negative enslaves, the positive does not. And so when you see, I would suggest to people, if when you see somebody doing well and you feel that jealousy or that envy coming up in you, can you not just pause for a second and say, why do I feel like I'm not deserving of what that person has? And then investigate that because you are deserving of what that person has, but you're the conductor of that. And for me, like a trick I use whenever I feel that coming up with myself, Instead of being all pissy because I feel like somebody is better or better than me or has more than me, I try to turn it around and say, I am so happy that that person is doing well. I am that is makes me so happy that they are doing well at life and they are doing what they want to do. And it's amazing when you change that and you say, Oh my God, I'm so, I mean, my boyfriend loves the X22 report, one of the big OG people. And you know, he was saying that the X-22 gets sponsorships. Yeah. And people give him the same slack they give us, but it's like that's what he has to do to pay his bills so he can continue putting content out. And my boyfriend was like, I am so happy that this guy, I think his name is Dave, this guy has sponsors. I am so glad that somebody is sponsoring him because I really enjoy his videos and I really enjoy his perspective. And so I'm so happy that he has a way of supporting himself so that he can continue putting content, content out because his because I like his content. And so if they're not just Catherine or me, but if there are other YouTube channels, I mean, frankly, I don't really watch truth or channels anymore. I typically watch the Scientology oh ones. I watch, I mean, Andrew Gold, Catherine, we both love Andrew Gold. Oh, I, do you know, he's just, um, he, he uplifts me. He covers really difficult subjects in a really honest and raw way. And he asks real questions that real people want to ask without an agenda. And that's why people open up to him so much, you know, because the thing is about this, we're all looking to learn. You know, my consciousness is expanding. Con my channel's all about expanding consciousness through curiosity. I'm 
on this journey that for the long as I'm in this suit, this body, I want to learn, I want to expand, I want to contribute, I want to talk to my animals, I want to give them the best life possible. I want to surround myself with people that uplift me because I see the difference on it. And, and you know, when I felt full, I want to brush myself up and get back up again, just like we all did when we were toddlers and we were learning to walk or learning to sit on the potty and things like this. You know, go back to that stage, go back to that curiosity and 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 look at each and every being you know we all laugh because it's so easy for us to look at our animals with pure love and non-judgment but it's not so easy for us to do it to our own species because there the mirror is really real yeah but when we look at another human it brings up too much of what's in ourselves and therein lies the challenge um so when we recognize that and we just keep saying everyone you know whoever chooses to watch this today you will all hear different parts of the conversation and you will all hear that through your lens and you could get a friend to watch it and they'd pick up something completely different from it you're both right because it's both whatever you're picking up is what you need to pick up and what whatever journey you need to be on and and embrace the fact that that's going to be different to all of us so when people are have different opinions about different people and everything you know respect people's decisions if someone's put a boundary up you know there's a very good reason for that if you're criticizing someone like us for putting a boundary up and not having certain people back on our channels or merging certain decisions you know if you don't like it that's fine this is a choice for you to be here but if not what about asking the question well well perhaps there's a good reason for that perhaps i don't need to know what the reason is because perhaps it's not my lesson to learn but actually what about instead of looking at it from a critical eye what about looking at it from well, what can i learn what boundaries have i not put up in my life exactly exactly and and in respect it, that that is when people try to boss you around or tell you what to do with your channel or who you should have and have on that is crossing a boundary and so you have to go back and look at your own life you know or if people are acting as flying monkeys for somebody else doing their dirty work that's something that says more about you than it does about the person you're targeting and that's one thing i have learned i will be grateful th for, through youtube is i've developed a pretty thick skin because I see it now when there's nasty comments, troll comments. I'm like, that sounds, sounds more about that person than it does about me. Because Captain, I think you and I, over these past few years, we've maintained our integrity and yeah. we've maintained who we are. And, and when we make decisions about our channels, um, there, there's a reason why we've made certain decisions. And I will say, I will put Andrew Gold's uh, channel down in the description box because I just think he is fantastic. And we do have a mutual friend. Catherine and I have a mutual friend that knows Andrew Gold. And she said he is the same off camera, very delightful and kind. And so fingers crossed, maybe one day we'll get Andrew Gold on our channel. But I will say, because he does, so, and he used to work for the BBC. And that's what it drew me to his channel because he started, he branched off on his own. Uh, from what I understand, and I'm sorry, Andrew, if you see this and I'm wrong, but I, heard, I think I heard you said there was a censorship that took you, that made you want to do your own stuff. Correct me if I'm wrong. But the other day I was watching Andrew Gold's channel and he got a sponsorship deal. And I was so excited for him because I know how much work this takes. And he has a yeah. far bigger platform than Catherine or I do. And so he has a lot of responsibility to make sure his, his interviews are integral. It was a commercial for a colon cleanse. <laughs> and he rocked it. The commercial he did for this product that's sponsoring him was hysterical and he sold that sucker. It made me want to go try the product because he sold it it was all about pooping and i just my respect for him went way up and i was so happy because as a content creator i know how much work this takes and i know that he is a journalist and i was so happy that he had gotten a sponsorship because i know that takes a load of stress off of his shoulders so that he can focus on he can film that one little commercial slide it into his videos and then he can focus on providing incredible he provides incredible content i've got to speak to him even more because anyone i i do a lot i still do a lot of one-on-one -on -one consults with animals and their humans and anyone who's had a consult with me knows that you know poo is a major topic of conversation because it can tell you so much so i am laughing as say that makes me laugh even more so have a bit of fun with it guys 
um, there's enough serious stuff going on in the world where we want to be all directing our attention, but we cannot help others if we're not in that balanced place ourselves. So keeping ourselves physically, emotionally, spiritually in balance, surrounding yourself with um, high vibe food, high vibe water, high vibe people, high vibe information. You know, if you're listening or reading um, or watching anything, how does it, it's no different to when I do my holistic lifestyle coaching, I, which I did with Paul Check. You know, you, it's this tuning into your body. How do you feel afterwards? Do you finish that experience feeling inspired to go and do some good for the world? Or does it brought up anger, resentment, issue, you know, whatever? Just tune in with yourself because we all talk about intuition. We're moving into a stage where instant manifestation, instant manifestation is becoming a reality. And therefore, we've got to perfect these skills because you can manifest bad things just as easy as you can manifest good things. So should we go on and see who's manifested some good wins? Yeah, I was about to say, you go first, Catherine. Okay, so two weeks ago on my channel... Um, people could enter this draw. This is a draw we're doing every week. You have two chances to win. Two. <laughs> um, and um, you have two chances to win. Bryce and I give away different things. So I was giving away a lovely tube of the ASEA Renu 28, my all-time absolute favourite. I've been using it on my dogs because they have a really bad flea reaction. and We've got loads of fleas here on our sandy soil. So my winner that I pulled from my channel. Um, now, the, it, listen to the instructions carefully. Deb Watson, Deb's, her, her handle on YouTube is Deb's Home Cooking with Love, and her name is Deb Watson. So Deb Watson, you need to email me. The email address will be below on Bryce's uh, um, chat, because this is on Bryce's channel. You need to email me on Catherine Edwards Life 17 at gmail.com. I need to be able to send you that gel. I need your full postal address and I also need your contact number because it will come to you via courier and they have to have a contact number on there. So great job. I can't wait to hear how you get on with it. It is absolutely brilliant for you and your animals. Um, Deb Watson, who's your winner, Bryce? Well, first, before we even announce my winner, do you want to, I know next week, I'm going to be out next week, so it'll be another two weeks before we're back on Catherine's channel, but what are you going to give away for the next two weeks, or the next time we're together, for people to so enter? So, the next time I'm going to um, give, now, what shall I give next time? I'll tell you what I'm going to give, because I absolutely love this. Now, some of the products you can only get in certain countries, so that's why I'm careful what I give. If anyone ever wins a product that we can't get to you because it's not available in your country, don't worry, we'll, sub we'll speak to you and substitute it with something we can get to you, so you won't miss out. But I am going to give away... Um, one of the Redox, um, these are brilliant sachets. So the one I'm going to give away is I'm <laughs> going to give away, this one's actually the Redox Mind, but I'm going to give away the Redox Mood. And the reason I'm going to give away a box of the Redox Mood is it's fantastic for all ages. Your children will love it. You'll love it. And what the mood does for anyone that, su that suffers with anxiety, um, with depression, with um, needing a pick-me-up, um, it's just a fantastic balancer. So if you need bringing down a bit, it will bring you down. If you need bringing up a bit, it will bring you up. It tastes absolutely delicious. They're really easy little sachets that you can take with you, that your kids can take to school. Um, and all I can say is it has an instant effect on me. So if I'm ever in having a bit of a downer, that's what I go for. They're brilliant. I just had this picture of people sneaking it, sneaking it into their husband or their wives. Yes, great. exactly. <laughs> um, well, guys, so I'm going to do, so last week I gave away, I'm giving away um, to Salt Life 614, Salt Life 614. I'm not sure what your name is, but Salt Life 614 is your handle on YouTube. You won a month of Marnie Alton's uh, bar uh, website and I'm actually going I'm going to pull the website up again I love Marnie Alton I per support her a lot her website is 
fabulous because it gives you so many different options of different class levels, class sizes, uh, with equipment, without equipment. My computer is being a little slow. As you can see, I do a lot of the 60 minute ones, um, but she has under 45 minutes, under 30 minutes, under 20 minutes. She even has, if it'll low, no equipment workout, focuses like meditations, low impact workout, stretch. She puts up at least two to three different types of um of classes a week so you're constantly getting i mean there's so many different and they stay up on her website forever she has different guides and challenges um and so so i'm going to be giving away another month of this for next week as well and the reason why i've i've I, we haven't i haven't gone back to the sca yet and cheryl forsyth we are working on it. There's been some issues with the addresses in my my uh, domain, and so I just want to give it another week before we go back to the ASEA. All I need, Salt Life 614, is your email address, so I can email you a gift card for a month unlimited to Marnie Alton's website. And um, so that my email is esotericatlanta at gmail.com. So Salt Life 614, just email me back, put Marnie in the subject line because we get so many emails just so I see you, and I will send you back a gift card for you to use for a month with Marnie. And um, for those who are wondering, once you get the gift card, it won't, your month won't start until you actually activate it yourself. So it doesn't start the day you get the gift card, it starts the day you yeah. activate it. And so, um, and so I'm going to do that for one. So two weeks from now, if you do want to register for Marnie's uh, to win a, a, a month of Marnie's uh, website, just put Marnie in the uh, comment section below. And Catherine, what 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 code word do you want them to put in the comment section below for the drawing? ASEA? Um, so, yes. Yeah, so I would like you to put ASEA mood below. So to win mine, ASEA mood, we will draw that in two weeks' time. Um, and remember to claim your prize. So for my prize winner, Deb Watson, things, you have one week from today when this video will go up to claim your prize because we can't carry it over because it's just too complicated to keep track of everyone. So please, please get your emails to us as soon as possible and we can get your prizes out to you. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. We will be back. So it's going to be two weeks' time because um, of scheduling next week. And um, yeah, let us know your th your thoughts. Yeah, absolutely. You guys are worth it. So anytime you feel that anger, that jealousy coming up, just know that's that. Don't believe everything you think, right? Because you are worth everything that you want in life. You're worth it. And uh, working hard for something is what gives you that 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 friction and that grit to actually get there too. And I actually am going to put in my description box below too, guys, some articles about what exercise actually does to your brain chemistry. So if, if you're a Debbie Downer and you have a hard time changing negative thoughts, a great way to start that is exercise because it starts to, to change, to change that brain chemistry. And so I'll put articles about that down in the description box as well. So many things I'm putting in the description box. I'm going to have to go back and read yes. and make sure I get it all in there. So and check both our community pages as well. And I'm just going to do a shout out that I never normally do. So um, without going into too many details, um, there's a lot of sort of shenanigans that often go on with people's channels um, in terms of sort of interference and things. So it really helps us. If you like any of our content, it really, really is lovely if you could hit that like button, make a comment, even better if it's a nice one. <laughs> and and hit that share button if you've got a, th a friend that you think it might resonate with because everything now we all know we've we'll be speaking more in the future about ai but everything's done on algorithms and you know when when these things get a little bit messed up it's quite tricky to get them back on track so if you like it we appreciate you to hit that little like button share it make a comment and um it then becomes a two-way energy exchange which really helps thank Absolutely. you even if you hit the unlike button it's still it's it still helps. Yeah, it's that's fine. Helps. Yeah. So, anyway, guys, thank you so much. I hope you guys. I know for Canada and the United States, we're head heading into um, a holiday, and so I wish you guys all safety and have fun with your friends and family. And we'll see you back here for our coffee chat in two weeks' time. Once again, if you want to join our workshop with Jay, make sure you text Jay. Oh yes. So that he can and just say you want to do the marketing workshop and he will we'll get that all set up. So make sure so you don't just text Jay if you want to see it from text to, for from, from us, text Jay as well. But if you want to do the mark, just text Jay. Yeah. Anything and I promise you this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be high vibe, useful, 
fun information that everyone will get something from and you know you can take what you want from it and leave the rest but we're looking for people that are energetically aligned to really want to create something new in their lives and we'll be right there with you guys on the zoom so anyway i was about to say you can you can text jay for anything you need your tire changed yeah <laughs> you need a babysitter just text jay <laughs> <laughs> You need to be bailed out of jail. Just text Jay. <laughs> so, yeah, right. All right, you guys. Lots of love. Take Bye care, everyone. Bye, everybody. Bye.